Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial on how to perform a social network analysis on Gephi. The format of this tutorial will allow you to um, pause and go back and follow along with um, the tutorial while doing it on your own, so please feel free to do that. So this is part one. We're going to start with preparing the data to be in, uh, imported into to Gephi. So first, um, you can open up this uh, data example in the folder. Provi this is provided for you so you can follow along and do it yourself. So this is how a raw data would usually look. In column A, you would have the people you surveyed or interviewed. And you will have in column B, the people that they are connected to or they have provided you with. So first what you're going to do is you're going to create a new sheet. You can name it nodes. Here you're going to create two columns, an ID column and a label column. This, the node sheets is where you list all of the people in your, in your network. Um, so first what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to go back to data. We're going to copy all of the names and put it in in one column so and in label and then on column B the same thing so obviously there's going to be duplicates so what you want to do is highlight all the names that you have go to uh, the tab the data tab and go to remove duplicates you will have this uh, warning come up whether you want to expand the section or continue. You continue with the selected section, remove duplicate in column B, and then OK. And it says that we've um, removed 29 duplicates and there are 15 remaining. So now we know that we have 15 people within our network. And then you give them IDs. So this is just a regular uh, ID from uh, a number so you can drag it down make it 1 to 15 so that's it that's um, that's all you need for a notes notes uh, sheet and now you go on into making an ed edge sheet an edge sheet is um, pretty much um, what you have here uh, in the data in the raw data but um, giving it the ID instead of uh, a name so here you need um, four columns. You need source, target, type, and weight. So now we're going to fill up the edge sheet. Pretty much what you're doing is you're taking the names in the raw data and putting it in the source and target column using the ID from the note sheet that we've created. So first what we're going to do is we're going to copy the ID number and moving and uh, pasting it on the right side of the labels uh, this is um, we're doing this because of um, the function that we're about to use so the function the function is called vlookup what we're doing here is looking up the the names and then matching it with the ID numbers so the lookup value the first lookup value is Corinne in a1 here and then the, for a table array, we are using the note, the note sheet. And so we're going to copy this right here, the whole table. And then uh, I like to keep um, this table locked so it doesn't move when we drag. The column index number is going to be 2 for the second um, column that in the table we just picked. So this can be two. And then for range lookup, we're looking whether we want an approximate match or an exact match, and we want an exact match. So it will be false, close the bracket, and there you have, um, for Corinne, it's one. And now we can just drag your uh, cursor down and get all of this. 
There we go. There's 23. Yep, there's 22 um, source that we got. And then we're doing the same thing for the target. And we can drag it this way because now we're looking at B1 on this sheet instead of. So we're looking at this uh, Benedict now. And then we can drag it down just like before. So it's, it's whether we want to have a directed or undirected uh, graph for the social network analysis. For um, the basic tutorial purpose, we're going to keep this as undirected. So we can do that and just drag it down for the whole thing. So for the weight, um, you're able to give a certain relationship um, more value than the others. For the basic purpose of this method, this um, tutorial, we're going to keep it as one. However, if, if you have um, different numbers here, it will be shown on your uh, social network analysis in Gephi. So yeah, that's it. Um, we have an edge sheet and a note sheet. Another thing you can do um, in your note sheet, which could be useful for your analysis, is if you have an inf information for all of your um, your individuals, and you want to show them, um, uh, disaggregate them on your social network analysis, you can add them in to your note sheet, and it can be transferred into Gephi. So, for example, maybe we want gender. So here I have um, gender listed out. So this, like for example, in your social network analysis, you will be able, you will be able to see the difference in color between male and female, and it could be useful for your project. And this can you can have as as many columns as you want for this. Perhaps you want uh, school where they go to school, or what uh, country they're from, etc. So yeah, this is it. So to export these uh, information into Gephi, you will need to export the note sheets and the edge sheets into a CSV form uh, individually. So let's start with, I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's start with the note sheet first. You go to, you stay on nodes, you go to files, and then export. You're going to change file type into a CSV file, and then save as. Um, and then you can say node, I'm going to put it as example nodes save um, and then just press OK that one doesn't matter and you can go to your edge sheet and do the same thing export change file type CSV save as and I will name this as example edges and save OK and that's it um, we're gonna next. I'm gonna show you how to import these uh, newly made CSV files into Gephi.